Kami salamat, Madam Moderator. Audio Billah Minas Saitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Salam Alaikum, Rahmatullahi Talo Barakato. Atoni Bakani, Marami Marami Salamat, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be uh, here today and uh, for organizing such a uh, forum, which of course is to the best interest of local government units and the people in the uh, BARM. Of course, uh, thank you too to the uh, DILG. How I wish uh, the uh, DILG officials were present. Uh, kasi ako, I had to come from Sulu. I had to cross uh, waters and then uh, took the uh, watercraft and then in the aeroplano rito, babalik na naman. Just to be, because to us, this is of great interest. That is why, ever since, Sulu has always been against BARM. Oh, in fact, during the uh, plebiscite, we voted against inclusion in the BARM. Pero ngayon, nandirito na kami, uh, we have always been hoping that everything will turn out correctly and rightly. Oh, and hopefully, uh, agencies of the national government would help us and assist us in making things correct. So, yan po ang hinihingi namin. Now, at the moment, we feel that even in the title alone of this local government code is already different from the national local government code. This is local governance code. So, baka naman deliberate ito just to uh, delay Oh, him. Para sa akin, is it not enough that you, the BTA has already been extended? Do we still want to de delay it uh, further? The delay has already been made one of the principal reasons for the extension of the BTA. And here we are again. I hope they do not play around and fool around with the constituent local government units in the BARM. Kasi nag-iisip din kami. So yan ang uh, inano namin. Especially when uh, the authors or the writers of these codes are lawyers. I'm glad that uh, lawyers like Attorney Lorena, Attorney Nabil, Attorney Faisal, and uh, of course, uh, Attorney Liza and uh, the others, are here and watchful about what's going on in uh, the BTA. So, yan po ang inaano namin. Sa totoo lang, ang dapat, lagi ko sinasabi, at Tony Bakani, they should learn from the rebel predecessors who became chiefs of the arm. They ended up miserably. So here we are again. Dapat, they should always be connected to the ground. And who are at the ground? These are the local government units, the local chief executives. Alam niyo, kami ang tao ninyo sa ground. We know the ground far better than you. Kasi kami ang nandoon. Now, we are very much in touch with our people. You do not go through us, you can hardly connect with the people on the ground. Kasi hindi ninyo alam. So how I wish, yung author nandirito, yung writer, si Atty. Sinarimbo, 
Kaya ako pumunta rito kasi gusto ko face to face na sinator ni Sinarimbo para huwag tayo maglukuhan. Oo. Because as I could uh, see it from what was presented by uh, Attorney Lorena, ang sinasabi roon, the local government ministry would also benefit from it So, this is personal. What can he do to help the chief minister or the BARM? It is the local government units. Oh. Why don't you create friends instead of uh, adversaries? Oh. Sabi nga ni President no? Carter, with the people, you can never lose. Without the people, you can never win. We are the people. Eh, sina Chief Minister, dapat wag nila hi. Parang, ano ba? Parang guluhin. O lituhin. Baka mahilo. You know, power can be, uh, can get you drunk. Okay. When you get drunk with the power, you tend to create a, ano bang tawag dito? Yung dictatorship. We do not want a dictatorship here. Oo. Kasi, that we will not allow. Ayun, sinasabi ni Atone Paisal, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Di ba? So, yan ang sinasabi natin. So, but I'm very grateful. Kasi ito, always suspicious ang mga ito. Thinking about the future. Always remember that you will never last. Oh, you, oh, there will always be changes. There will always be changes. Oh, you will never be there forever. What when you are not there anymore, what will happen to the future of your children and your grandchildren and the generations after your grandchildren? Ganon, ganon na lang ang ano natin. Bakit hindi pa natin gawin tama? Hmm. Nasabi naman ng batas, we must be consistent. Consistent with the national laws. Remember, even your power that you are enjoying now, Uh, flowed from the same source. Oh, oh, and this is true, the office of the president, like the matter of uh, general supervision. Oh. So anyway, uh, for us in the province of uh, Sulu, we will strongly and unequivocally assert our local autonomy, guaranteed by the Constitution, and Republic Act 7160, or the Local Government Code of the Philippines. A regional local government code or any regional law in the barn that threatens or tends to diminish our local autonomy will be unacceptable to us. Section 10, Article 6 of the Bangsamoro Organic Law provides that privileges already enjoyed by LGUs under Republic Act 7160 and other existing laws shall not be diminished by any regional law. Local autonomy of LGUs is not only a privilege. It is a constitutional right of LGUs and a national policy under the 1987 Constitution. So, number two, there is a need to clarify the meaning of the provision in Section 10, Article 6 of the BOL, which provides, and I quote, that the authority of the Bangsamoro government to regulate the affairs of its constituent local government units shall be guaranteed in accordance with this organic law and a Bangsamoro Local Government Code 
to be enacted by Parliament, unquote. Under the Constitution and Republic Act 7160, the President exercises only general supervision over LGUs. Did the BOL grant stronger and broader power and authority to the regional government over LGUs in the barn than what the Constitution grants to the President? Local autonomy of LGUs is guaranteed and any law that provides that our affairs can be regulated is unconstitutional. Gusto pa nila na mas maano pa, more powerful kaysa kay Presidente. Naku, kakatakot talaga. Iba talaga pag galing tayo sa gubat. We want everything. Anyway, we submit only to the power of general supervision of the president over LGUs. The, this power can be delegated to the chief minister of the BARM just as the power of general supervision of the president over LGUs in the former arm was delegated under Republic Act 1954. We do not see this power Delegated to the chief minister in the BOL. You see, it is not even, uh, it cannot even be delegated. The BOL does not say that it can be delegated to the uh, chief minister. Dito sa BOL. So, mas, sa arm sinabi, dito wala. So, dapat wala ito eh. Dapat maging consistent na. Isn't it enough? Dami-daming pera, dami-daming authority, dadagdagan pa. So, anyway, number four, we envision a cooperative and collaborative arrangement with the BARM regional government and will resist a relationship founded on the regional government's control and regulations of LGUs. We submit to the general supervision powers of the President as the lifeblood of LGUs comes from national revenue allocations of the national government. Until we shift to a federal system or the Constitution is amended, our country remains to be a unitary and presidential system where the President's power of general supervision over all local government units cannot be diminished and no regional government or any of its officials can exercise exclusive powers over its constituent local government uh, units. Alam niyo, hindi naman ito kailangan. There is really no need about it. There is enough power in the uh, BTA, especially in the office of the chief minister. Except, siguro may mga sumisipsip, papalakas, and then maraming bootlickers. Sa dyan, kay chief minister. Eh, si chief minister, oo lang siguro ng oo. Eh, sa totoo lang, Ang dapat, huwag sila maging distrustful and suspicious. And huwag sila maging uh, ma-insecure about mga local governments. Oo. And above all, huwag sila maging praning. Talo nila pang drug addict eh. Sa pagka-praning. Suspect doon, suspect dito by 2025 what will happen to us. Oo. Oh. Nobody can tell what happens in 2025. Hmm. Now, next, in Section 25A, Article 1 of Bill Number 58, it provides that, and I quote, the authority of the local, I of the chief minister to supervise and regulate the affairs of the constituent local government units shall be exclusive. 
the implementation of all national policies and standards concerning the constituent local government units shall be agreed upon between the national government and the Bangsamoro government as may be provided in the intergovernmental relations mechanism, unquote. We are against this provision because the constitutionally guaranteed autonomy of LGUs cannot be subject to negotiations in the IGR, especially in this period of transition where the BTA, MILF, that determines the position of the regional government in the IGR mechanism without the active participation and representation of LGUs, how can our interests be secured and protected? We ask the DILJ and the national government not to bargain away our local autonomy through this mechanism. Alam nyo, yung gawin ng nag-uusapan, halos nasunod lahat ang gusto. Ito between the national government Although we were also, sometimes we were there, but none of our uh, mga objections were ever uh, uh, acknowledged or uh, considered dito sa negotiations. So, yan ang uh, inano namin. Sana, wag kami, pinamigay na kami ng national government doon sa barm kahit ayaw namin, sana wag naman kami itapon pa. So, ganun po sa mga national government uh, agencies of government. Oo. National agencies of government, sana wag kami pamigay basta-basta. Oo. -basta. Kung ayaw na ninyo, bitiwan ninyo na kami. Maghanap na lang kami kung saan kami mapunta. Now, number six. I will not go into the merits of the proposal in Bill Number 58 for an anti-political dynasty provision and educational requirements for those candidates for local positions because they are not legally and constitutionally feasible. Why an anti-political dynasty policy only in the barn when political dynasty is of national concern. The Constitution requires a national, not a regional law, to implement the constitutional proscription on political dynasties. The educational requirement for those running for public office may be violative of the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution. Alam nyo dito sa political dynasty, Inasabi ko na during uh, one of the uh, meetings or uh, sessions yata na they uh, were discussing about political dynasties, we said that we are in favor of that uh, proposal uh, against uh, political dynasty. Kasi alam naman namin hindi mangyayari yan eh. Kasi sa legislative bodies, Lahat, magkakamag-anak yan. You cannot be a member of mga board members pag hindi ka kamag-anak ng politiko. Hindi ka maging congressman kung wala kang kamag-anak sa ground. So, paano yung maipapasa? Dito nga sa barm, si speaker mismo, anak congressman, kamag-anak mayor, ganyan. So, paano mo may papasayan? Ayaw naman kami-kami magkakamag-anak ng mag-aaway-aaway. Hmm. But, anyway, this, hindi naman ito appointed. Hindi naman appointed yung mga, they are elected. So, but anyway, that is next to impossible, yung uh, political dynasty na provision na yan. Ano lang ito? Nagpapaganda lang, papagwapo-gwapo lang. O, sinabi na namin, kaya lang, hindi pumasay. Yun naman ang sasabihin dyan. Now, dito sa qualification, 
educational qualification. Kahit tumakbo ka ng presidente, wala naman sinabi dapat doktor ka eh, or dapat abogado ka. For as long as you can read and write, even if you do not understand what you read, pwede ka naman tumakbo. So, ang daming pakulo eh. Papagwa po, napangit naman. So, yan po. And finally, we ask the BTA to be deliberate and consultative Ah, Tony Lorena, in legislating any regional law that will have far-reaching implications on LGUs and its relations with the regional government, please do not rush the passage of the law. We ask the DILJ and the national government to review the proposed regional local government code to ensure that it does not violate the Constitution and other national laws, particularly Republic Act 7160. So, ito, sana maging uh, mga abogado eh, uh, with due respect sa mga lawyers, professors, members of the BTA, tayo, Muslim-dominated region. Sana wag tayo pagtawanan ng buong Pilipinas na hindi tayo marunong sumunod sa sinasabi ng batas, huwag ninyo na kami nasa local government uh, units turuan na hindi sumunod sa batas. Ito gagawa lang ng batas. Gagawin pang mali. So, ito ang inaano natin. Sana makarating ito kay Atty. Sinarimbo at kay Chief Minister and uh, of course other officials of the Bangsamoro uh, government. So maraming maraming salamat uh, mga participants. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh.